And that news coming is more than 4 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine have been administered across Arizona. That number includes nearly 2 million Arizonans who are fully vaccinated. And now there may be a way to find out just how well those vaccines are actually protecting you. Fox 10's Danielle Miller is live with more on how one business plans to do that. Danielle. Christy and John, good evening. Yes, we have heard a lot about antibody testing. Well, there's one company here in the Valley. They're doing just that, just to see uh, exactly if your vaccination is doing what it's supposed to. Today, we also had that update from the state on some COVID-related topics. Dr. Kara Chris saying today the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is still paused here in the state. There's about 12,000 doses on hold in Arizona and will be able to be administered once the pause is lifted. So Arizona has not received a, a report of uh, this, this type of incident, so especially like after Johnson & Johnson. So we continue to monitor all of the adverse events are reported to CDC. Another topic of discussion, a possible third dose of the Pfizer vaccine. There may need to be a booster in order to um, in order to make sure that you remain immune. We continue to watch watch that. What we would hope is by the time um, people would need a potential booster that we will have uh, enough vaccine. Whatever brand of vaccine you've received, there's a way to show if it's doing its job. Any lab test now is doing antibody testing. When the laboratory receives the blood sample, they're checking for the spiked protein that is in their blood, which is the COVID. Either it's going to be the antibody or it's going to be the vaccination. Medical assistant Tiffany Climey says she's seen many people coming in to do this for a peace of mind. She says if you've had the vaccine, you'll want to wait two to three weeks before being tested. Non-reactive is going to be a negative. So either you haven't had COVID in the past or the vaccination didn't work or you didn't get the vaccination. A reactive is going to be a pretty much a positive. So it's going to be you've had COVID in the past or your vaccination worked. And that test is about $129. It takes about a day or two to get those results from it. But going back to the Johnson & Johnson vaccination, Dr. Kara Chris saying today that a lot of these places that was offering uh, that specific vaccination has now pivoted and they are offering uh, the other brands but she says you'll definitely want to call ahead of time to make sure uh, that they do have the right vaccine for you she says if not there are thousands of open appointments throughout the state reporting live danielle miller fox 10 news